What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best tight ends currently in Mutt 24 at every single budget. A lot of times when I'm live streaming over on Twitch and even on Twitter, people will reach out and say, Pop, I got 300k, I need a tight end, who do I pick up? That's what we're going to cover in this video and if you missed it yesterday, we went over the best safeties in the game at every single budget. So go check out that video as well and we'll be covering more positional groups each and every week as new cards come out we're going to start with the best free options at tight end and i got two of them for you the first one is going to be the mcs slash madden bowl slash super bowl promo kyle pitts now it's too late to earn this card for free so if you haven't been able to i got another option for you but even at a 94 overall this card is very very good still usable the main tight end on my no money spent squad six foot six 95 speed 92 short route running 91 mid only 68 run block the strength isn't good as well but he's a pass catcher you can move him at wide receiver if you need to he's tall he's fast he can run routes he can catch the ball and you don't need any abilities on this card i run him without any abilities and he makes a ton of plays same thing's gonna go for team captain jordan reed so if you don't want to spend any coins on a tight end this is definitely the best option for a free option six foot two and you can get him all the way up to 97 with the team captain tokens there's enough available to get two free team captains up to a 97 and at that overall they get times three of any nfl team chem so you can see here i got eagles times three chem on this card which boosts additional attributes because i have a 25 of 50 eagles team team so we got him up to 97 speed his run blocking like kyle pitts is not going to be good but the route running across the board is good 96 short 96 mid his catch catch and traffic and spec catch are all good and just like kyle pitts you do not need any ability Abilities on this card for him to be productive best option under 100,000 coins is going to be George Kittle this is going to be a good card if you run the ball a lot or just want somebody who's a good tight end that can run block so he's six foot four with 94 speed catch is going to be at 96 which is pretty good for a 94 overall card at the time 91 catch in traffic 94 spec catch short route running 94 mid 91 and as far as abilities go on this card really the only one that's worthwhile and this is going to be if you don't have a hot route master quarterback is going to be tight end apprentice for one ap this card right now going for about 85,000 coins now if you want that tight end apprentice ability specifically i would recommend using the next best option which is going to be another playoff card it did get redux because it was an ltd at one time it's gonna be travis kelsey this card is our best option under 150k and goes for about 128k on average right now the reason i recommend this card is because the attributes are a little bit better six foot five 95 speed 95 short route running 93 mid route running catch catch and traffic spec catch all good he does not have run block or not good run block compared to george kittle but he's going to get that same ability in tight end apprentice for zero ap if you don't need it because you have a hot route master quarterback throw that ability out the window but if you do this is the better option for roughly only about 30 to 40 000 more coins i would save up and get this one but i think above both of those cards one of the better value tight ends in the game right now that's dropped a ton in price since yesterday and we'll explain why in a moment is going to be ultimate legend shannon sharp so this card is our best option under 200,000 coins He's 170k. This is a really, really good price for this card. Six foot two tight end with 95 speed, 96 catch, catch and traffic and spec catch both good as well. Route running's great. 96 short, 95 mid. Not great at run blocking, but a little bit better than the Travis Kelsey car we just took a look at with that 73 run block and 90 strength. And with the price alone, I love this card. But the uh, ability for him to not only be a good route runner and a good catcher, but after the catch. He gets the good juke move, if you will. So that's when you use your juke move without holding on turbo. It's kind of like a, a baby juke, um, but it makes a lot of people miss. So this card is really, really, really good after the catch for 170k definitely worth it if you need a tight end abilities i wish were a little bit better he gets third down threat which there's a few players that get it for zero ap i honestly i've used it on like him i used it on julio jones's ltd i never really notice it loading up or even you know if it's impactful but if it's zero ap you might as well equip it and then like most of these tight ends we're talking about in this video he's going to get tight end apprentice for one ap our best option under 300,000 coins is going to be a card that i haven't used and honestly i'd probably just take shannon sharp because he's much less expensive but darnell washington from the weekly wild card promo is your best option under 300 000 coins you can also take a look at team of the year sam laporta falls under that price 
as well. But we went with Washington because he's six foot seven and he's got 95 speed. I mean, that alone is really good, but he also has 84 run block, which is kind of sneaky good for a card that's that tall and that fast. The route running and catching across the board are all very balanced and good. 94 catch, catch and traffic. Short route running's 94 as well. The mid route running's 93. He gets red zone threat for zero AP, which is, you know, ideal for a guy who's six foot seven to get that ability. So even if you have him as like a backup tight end, I know it's kind of pricey to have a backup tight end, but you sub him in or put him in some two tight end sets in the red zone with that six foot seven frame and, and red zone threat for zero AP. That could be a secret weapon for you. And he, like most players, is also going to get tight end apprentice for one AP. Now, I mentioned earlier Shannon Sharp kind of being the best value. He's definitely the best budget friendly option at tight end, but the best value, value, value is going to be this free agency Dalton Schultz. This is currently the starting tight end on my team, and he tanked in price because of the new Travis Kelsey that came out yesterday. 370,000 coins for this card. Six foot five, 95 speed, 93 short route running, 94 mid. The catch ratings are great. He gives you 95 catch, 97 catch uh, in traffic and spec catch. And look at the run blocking. He gives you 89 run blocking with 90 strength. So all of that's really good. He also gets two zero AP abilities in mid in and mid out elite. I would never spend one AP on either of those abilities, but the fact that you can get both of them for a total of zero AP is a win. And then above all of that, he's a free agent champion which means he gets any team chem in the game. So whatever theme team you might be rocking, if it's an NFL theme team, you can bump up that speed potentially to a 97. Honestly, if we factor in price and everything else I just mentioned, the run block, this, you know, the, the team chems, this is the best tight end in the game, but the best tight end in the game has to go to the brand new AKA, the Big Yeti, Travis Kelsey. Fairly expensive though, 750K. Like I said, when it comes down to it, if I'm looking to purchase a card and I have a million coins to spend, I'm going to go with Dalton Schultz and then use the rest of those coins to upgrade another position rather than spend 750 on this Travis Kelsey. But don't get me wrong, this is a very good card. Six foot five, 97 stock speed, 98 short route running, 96 mid, only 68 run block and 84 strength. The catching is great, 97 catch, 98 catch in traffic, 98 spec catch. Another thing that they kind of did this Kelsey uh, dirty with is his abilities. He does get red zone threat for zero AP, so that's going to be really good in those situations, of course but he does not get any discount on tight end apprentice. He doesn't get like third down threat for zero AP. He doesn't get two zero AP abilities, which is crazy because Dalton Schultz does at a 97 overall. The other best option is going to be route tech for one AP, which I don't really think is worth it. I wouldn't spend the one AP on route tech. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's not needed. So really I would just go with red zone threat for zero AP. If you're going to be using this card and there you have it. Those are the best tight ends currently in the game at every single budget. We'll be back with another video covering another positional group very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know which tight end you're using right now at tight end number one and who got snubbed. Who did I leave off of the list? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you again for watching. My name is popular stranger. I'm out. Peace.